do it to it. What up, everybody? Uncle Jesse, up in the house. Here to rip a little heritage for you. 2019 Heritage Baseball, three box break, number seven. Let's go ahead and do this thing. This is the last of Heritage, and uh, I doubt we'll be getting any more of this stuff. So let's end with a bang. See what we got here. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. It is St. Patrick's Day, so make sure you're wearing green. That way, uh, you know, you don't get pinched or whatever the heck it is that people do on St. Patrick's Day. Exactly, Ra Ra. That's, that's pretty much how I see it. Fitzpatrick at some point will break down. <laughs> I, mean, I, can't, I can't wait to see his uh, six touchdown games followed by a six interception game. That's kind of what you get with Fitzpatrick. And then there's also the draft coming up, so. Exactly, Rara. Like, I, I'm not expecting anything of this upcoming season except for us to, you know, Start setting the foundation for what we want our team to be in the future. I mean, we already got rid of Cameron Wake, so that that right there just shows you. You know, we got rid of our best, arguably our best player on the D line. So yeah, this this upcoming season is probably gonna suck. But we'll see. You know, there's still the draft coming up. You know, who knows? We might trade up. We might trade down. Who knows? Just there's just so many unknown factors at this point. But anyway. How's everything with you, Ra Ra? Chris Fitz texts me too. He's like, oh, how do you feel about this? <laughs> Not happy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Ra Ra. I think Kyler Murray could be like Russell Wilson 2.0. Like, that's kind of how I see him. And not for nothing, I dude, I would take Russell Wilson any day of the week on my team. And that's that's kind of how I think Kyler Murray might end up. Uh, that other kid, Dwayne Haskins, I hate Ohio State, so I could care less about him. You know, on the offensive side of the ball, Ohio State players for the most part suck when they come into the league. Uh, defensively, though, Ohio State players are, are, are decent. But offensively, I can't remember the last time a quarterback, a receiver, or a running back came out of Ohio State that was like, oh, my God. Well, Rara, I mean, we did try to go at, we did, we did try to go after Bridgewater. You know, Bridgewater is, you know, kind of one of those mobile-ish quarterbacks, or who he was anyway. So that shows me that at least we're trying to make, uh, we're trying to make an effort to, to maybe get more athletic at the quarterback position. Uh, kids play, we only added a case of, uh, of absolute basketball. That's about it. Scooter Gannett, Reds, uh, Relic to 99 right there. Hand numbered. So if somebody asks, "Hey, did you number that yourself?" I'm gonna refer to you. Uh, I'm gonna refer you to this video. Anyways, Jason pretty much destroyed all of the uh, of the uh, the what you call it the NT. We got three more cases coming in tomorrow, but. With the exception of two boxes, or three boxes, they're already sold out. So good problems around here. We can't keep product in the store because we just sell it out. Well, how's everybody's weekend going? 
St. Patty's Day. Anybody got plans for uh, for today? Maybe uh, drinking some green beer or something. I don't know. I just came from a, a nice what, like, what, like a three and a half hour drive. I was uh, I was away for the weekend. I was over there by Orlando, Tampa area. What's up, Luis? The Heat won today. We lost to the Bucks, though, in historic fashion. Pretty much, rah rah. You know, me, me and Jason spoke. Uh, well, we didn't really talk, but we did text. We text like every day. And I was telling him the same thing yesterday. I was like, listen, man, we, I think we've gotten to that point where we got to get more stuff, man. I think we've been at that point, honestly. So we should be getting more stuff uh, relatively soon. Man, I, saw, I saw Jason do a case of NT. It was freaking loaded. There was a Brady autograph in there. Lamar Jackson. I think Saquon Barkley came out too. I think Baker came out of that case as well. It was freaking loaded. And, you know, now I'm not uh, not surprised given that it's the cardboard Jesus. Angels, just an Upton Chrome, which is to nine nine nine. All right, so that's it for that. I didn't find any sharp prints. I'm usually pretty good at catching them. You know, I've done enough of this stuff where uh, I have gotten that that good. I do have a case of Absolute Basketball in the store. 2017-18 Absolute Basketball. And, of course, the uh, Hit Random Dice Rolls we got. We can get some pretty cool stuff. For the low, low. But I'm pretty sure everybody's out there getting wrecked. Uh, today, everybody's Irish today. Ain't that right, Jimbo? How are you doing? Oh, that's right, Jimbo. I forgot you're uh, you're a time traveler. How was it? Dude? What'd you do? You drink like green beer or something? I actually have a friend of mine who's performing up at uh, up at some bar over in Wynwood, which is like the spot to hang out here in Miami for the locals. Not South Beach. Windwood. So I'll probably probably go through there and hang out. See my boy he performed on Friday at this other bar that we like go to. I didn't get a chance to see him because I I was out of town. So I got I gotta show some love today. Made a few arrows, like literally you made arrows, like out of stone or something. I know you're into that, uh, well, I, I wouldn't call it cosplaying, more so you, you're more of a, a reenactor. Probably asked you this already, Jimbo. 
But you ever go LARPing? Shoot it. Wow. All straight. Dude, I saw, I actually, I saw a picture that made me think of you the other day. It was a freaking, uh, it was a picture of a snake that tried to eat a spider, but the spider is actually trying to eat the, uh, the snake. It's pretty, uh, pretty ridiculous. And, like, the headline of the picture is like, oh, Australia in a nutshell. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, thank you. Dude, you should go LARPing one time. You know, go go into battle with a with like a make believe minotaur. Dude, one of my favorite movies. Oh, that that's a team and uh, team name variation right there. The team color swap. Ozzy Albie's Braves. See, I'm pretty good at catching them. Caught that one right there, see? And it tells you in the uh, right underneath the card number what variation it is. But anyways, there's this movie. I'm not sure if, if you've ever seen it, Jimbo. It's called uh, Role Models. Probably one of my favorite movies ever. It's one of those movies that you could just watch over and over again and like not get tired of it. At least for me. And there's this there's a character in the movie that does that like he he's a kid he's in high school he he does LAR, he, like he larps or whatever I don't know what the correct term the terminology of it is you just seen it yeah man Sean William Scott is in it uh, a few other good characters are, or I should say actors are in it Paul Rudd it's pretty freaking hilarious. My favorite character in that movie would probably have to be Ronnie. Reminds me of me. Just a, a little lovable rascal. Dude, I love that movie. Like, any time, like, uh, like if I'm ever, for some reason, watching TV on, uh, uh, at home or whatever, and the movie comes on, like, that's one of the few movies that, like, I just, I, I, I just let it play and I, and I watch it because it's freaking hilarious. Kyle Schwarber Cubs patch. The Reds. Chrome Refractor, which is to 570. Eugenio Suarez. Boom. Uh, I forget. I think the name of the uh, the director, Judd Apatow. I think that's the name of the director that made that movie, the role models. He makes like a bunch of freaking hilarious movies. Box Mojo. Let's see what we got here. Knights of Bad Asdom. Mm, it sounds familiar. Is that the one where there's like a spirit or something that takes over? It's kind of like a horror comedy, kind of. More so on the comedy side.
Yeah, I know the movie, Jimbo. I've seen it. Pretty funny. I know the movie you're talking about. Since you mentioned uh, Peter Dinklage, I gotta, dude, I gotta catch up on Game of Thrones. Like I, I saw, like I, I binge watched the entire series in like a week or two one time. But it's been so long, like the final season's coming up. So I, I kind of want to like rewatch, rewatch the whole thing. Never can, Jimbo. You never can. You know, that's why when I pick a, oh, you know, a class, it's usually a warrior. Because, you know, can't, can't trust that match. Eighty dollars a month to watch HBO. Yeah, there's 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 something similar uh, here. Like if you're subscribed to HBO, you know you're you can download the app and like watch it on your phone or whatever. But I got I got to take. I don't have cable or anything at home. Like I literally just pay for it for the internet. Like that's it. That's all. Like, if there, if there, if there's a way for me to like stream HBO <clears throat> or whatever, I totally do it. You know, if HBO came out with like a streaming service, kind of like Netflix or Hulu, and they charge like ten, twenty bucks a month, I would totally do it. At least for a month or so, just so I could watch Game of Thrones. And there's a few other good shows too. You know, Ballers is pretty good. I finished watching Eastbound, Down and Out, or whatever that's called. Vice Principals is pretty funny too. This is an action variation for Albies of the Braves. So Braves doing pretty good for themselves. Not only do they have the team color swap, but the action variation for Albies of the Braves. Two different variations for the same player. Pretty cool. I don't have Amazon. See, that's that's something else I need to look into. Maybe get like a an Amazon. The, the, what is it? Amazon Prime, I think. I know even on like on YouTube, you can like pay for like movies or something, like TV shows and things like that. Or I could just do what I always do and just go through the internet and on the many, many streaming sites that are out there and not pay a dime. But, you know, I have gotten to that point where, like, I wouldn't mind paying, you know, $10 subscription or whatever. So I don't have to worry about the police knocking my door down. Hey! Who's in here streaming Game of Thrones for free? Nice. Got an autograph for the Cubs, Wilson Contreras. There you go. Little mojo for the Cubs, though. Very nice. On card, of course. Like variation for Jonathan Villar Orioles. 
Those are limited to about 50, but they're not actually numbered. The NCAA selection show coming up. Zion Williams uh, is, is playing again. A lot of people uh, start to compare him to Blake Griffin. I can see the comparison. And that's going to be it for this break. But uh, still got these box toppers to open. Let's see what's in this. Got Brooks Robinson, Orioles box topper. Now, that's not an actual autograph, in case you're wondering. But, you know, you don't have to tell your friends that. You can just keep it between me and you. All right. Okay, one of the 1970s uh, original cards here for Joe Rudy of the A's. And what's the other one? Come on. Ooh, Ra Ra looks like you about to place a bet or something. And Sparky Lyle for the Red Sox is the other 1970s card. All right, cool. So that does it for this break. Now for these, I have like multiples of them. So I'm just going to give one to each team. I'm going to let my sorters take care of that. Just give multiples to everyone. All right. So there's that. Uh, I could use a... Something to write with for that. Alright, let me write that down. And the flashback cards we have here. They need to get random. Jimbo, I do have a case of uh, 1718 Absolute Basketball full case. All right, now these, as you can see, don't have a team, so we got to give them one. First, let's roll the die here. Number one, that's no fun. I don't do ones, twos, or threes. There's another one. Are you kidding me? Third time's a charm. Let's see. Wow, three straight threes? What the hell? I mean, three straight ones, I'm sorry. Four straight ones. What's, what's, what's happening here? All right, there we go. Eight. Eight plus four. Let's go 12 times. Why? Because I said so. So, let's go on over to the randomizer. Let's uh, put that on the screen for you. All right, now I got to grab the team, so let's do the old copy and paste. There we go. All the teams on the screen right there. Going 12 times, the top team gets the flashback cards, which I know everybody wants. And the money shot 12. Boom. 12 times, top team is the Indians. As you can see right there, we went 12 times. Indians on top. Let's see. It's all good, uh, Jimbo. You'll have tonight to read up on it. And probably break it tomorrow. Uh, anyways, let's recap this thing. So, what do we got? We have a black VR Orioles. A Chrome Refractor for Suarez of the Reds, which is to 570. A Chrome Upton for the Angels, which is to 999. We got patches for Schwarber of the Cubs and Gennett of the Reds to 99. We got action images. Well, just one actually. Albies of the Braves and the team color swap for Albies of the Braves as well. Two variations, one team, one player. Pretty sweet, Braves. And the loan autograph for Wilson Contreras of the Cubs. Very nice. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it out to you.